So what grade are you in now? Uh, I'm a junior in high school. Oh, okay. So you still got one more wow. year. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> one more. It's creeping up. Wow. So are, are you or can you take extra classes to graduate early? Yes, I can. Are you going to? I didn't plan on it. He's going to ride it out. Graduate with the click. With the click. <laughs> hey, look here. Ain't nothing wrong with that. No, no, not at all. Um, these are those times where you must enjoy being in the moment. Because once you graduate from high school, right. completely and totally different game. Yeah. Dang near like you have to start all over. Like start over for real. Yeah. So so pretty pretty much what he is saying is enjoy childhood or or your teenage years the best you can. Yeah. Make sure you don't go out there and and have sex and get somebody pregnant. Make sure you don't go out there and get yourself in trouble. Enjoy your life as it is now, because once you become an adult, once you graduate high school, and yeah. once you still have to start paying all those bills on your own, you're going to be like, you, you literally going to say, damn, I wish I was still a kid. Yes. Promise you. I, I, I cannot tell you how many times me and your uh, father there have talked about wishing only thing we had to do was just homework. Right. <laughs> and some chores. <laughs> that's it, man. That man. is, I would say that's probably what, like one of the highlights of being, you know, in high school is those last four years are the ones that you have the most fun dang near. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, just rebel in being where you're at in time because that last year, you're going to remember going to school that first day, and then next thing you know, you're walking across that stage, and you're like, dang. You're going to be happy. Go? You're going to be happy, and it's going to last. It's going to last. It's going to last. But then once you pay your first real bill, yeah, you're going to be like, damn. <laughs> <laughs> once you got to start buying your own clothes, you're going to be like, damn. That part. Yeah. So let me ask you this, though. Uh, with your father having such an extensive career and your grandmother and so on and so forth, you know, you're basically coming from a military family. Is the military something you consider uh, perhaps in your future or? No, it hasn't really been a thought. It wasn't a thought for me. <laughs> yeah. I'm, honestly, I, I could tell you, I, the, Joining the army was the last thing on my mind, but um, what made you do it? I'm gonna tell you what made me do it. So, I, I and I'm gonna tell you this before I even say it. I give your mother a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of appreciation and respect because she has raised you very, very, very well. Now, why did I join the army? Because I didn't have it like you. My mother wasn't on me like that with the homework and, and, and all of that stuff. So I did enough in school to graduate. Um, I didn't have a father around to talk to me about college and, and cars and stuff like that. My mother wasn't talking to me about college and, car, uh, and college and stuff like that. So what happened was my mother sent me, well, I was getting in trouble because I was a knucklehead, unlike you. You're a good dude, and I want you to stay a good dude. I was a knucklehead. <laughs> I wasn't a bad knucklehead, but I was a knucklehead. So my mother sent me to Miami, Florida with family that I didn't know. She told them I was going to college. I had no idea. That's what she told them. But that's what she told them. She told them I was going to college. I didn't apply to no college. I didn't look up no college. I didn't even know what college I wanted to go to. None of that. So I was down there. I went down there, let me see, probably a week or two after graduation. I was down there June, July, August, and September. I was down there for four months. And I felt like I was in the way. 
So I got out and I started walking around looking for a job, looking for a job, looking for a job. I'm 18 years old trying to find me a job. Nobody was hiring. And then when I tell you, I used to walk like two, three, four miles, five miles looking for a job. That's what I was doing. Um, so one day I was walking out there trying to find a job. I saw the, the recruiter station and I said, tomorrow I'm going over there to join the Air Force. So tomorrow came and tomorrow said, hey, you up? I looked at tomorrow. I said, I'm up. And tomorrow said, <laughs> let's go walk to recruit. Let's go walk to the Air Force recruiter. So I'm walking to the Air Force recruiter and I'm about to open the door. And the Army guy came out with a cigar in his mouth. Hey, where you going? I said, I'm going to the Air Force. He's like, no, nah, come here. <laughs> <laughs> he said, come here. He said, come on over here. So I go in there. I take the ASVAB. Um, and he's telling me all these wonderful things about the, the army. Um, mind you, the army was the last thing on my mind because my mother was in the army, but the army was the last thing on my mind. I was like, man, I'm gonna go to the air force. But he said it, he, he made it sound so good. And I didn't have <laughs> anybody directing me, you know, telling me, Hey, well, you know, you could do this. Then I had nobody telling me nothing. I was hard headed and stubborn. So he told, he gave me three options, infantry, chemical, and something else. I can't remember what the other one was. He said, and I, in my head, I was like, I'm not going infantry. He said, chemical, oh, you be an instructor, this, that, and other. I was like, I will take that. I will take that. So um, sign my papers and everything in September and whatever, whatever. Uh, so I was due to ship out in November. My retarded self, you know Barbara and all of them. Yeah. My retarded self finally reaches out to them. And I say, hey, I'm down here in Florida, blah, blah, blah. They was like, why you ain't saying that? We just down in Florida. We went on a cruise. I was like, I don't know. So um, I was like, hey, I, I signed up for the Army. And Barbara was in the Army at the time, and she was doing recruiting. So we was talking about Miami, this, that, and other. I was like, I don't want to be down here. So they sent for me and I came up here. Came up here and was, I was, I felt home. I felt like I felt at peace. But November was coming. And November came, I was gone. But I don't regret it. So is that something um, or is that a conversation you and him have had, you know, as far as like at least let him know what his options are if he did decide to go into the military? Did we talk about that? No, no, we haven't had that conversation. Um, 